to the side of where everybody, everybody, you know, kind of fill up the chairs and everything like that. We're about to get into our first performer. Y'all ready for your first performer say yeah? Yeah. Y'all ready for, for the coach to say yeah? Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. Shouts out to Soundbar. Shouts out to everybody involved, man. We appreciate them having us here. All that good stuff. Where the MCs in the building? Make, make, make some noise if you're an MC in the building. Okay, okay, don't, 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 don't. Okay, cool. As everybody, you know what I'm saying, make that way to the seat. Make sure y'all stay in the front too, man. We got to make sure we, we interact. We're going to have a nice interactive show tonight, man. Y'all be hearing about what's been going on with like Kanye West and, and, and Nick Cannon and all that crap? We're going to talk about all that tonight, man. We're going to get into it, man. We're going to get into it, man. So make sure y'all take y'all drinks, you know what I'm saying, down to the thing. But y'all ready to hear some good music say yeah? Yeah! When I say four, y'all say the culture. Four. Four. All right, dope. I'm about to introduce this um, artist real quick. Let me move this uh, microphone to the other way. All right, cool. I'm about to introduce this artist, man. This brother um, has been doing his thing in the city for years, for years, for years. He's one of my favorite artists. He's one of my um, closest friends, actually, too. So please make some noise. Not now, but right now. Start making some noise for my homeboy, A. Hey. This record is called Moment of Clarity. Uh, it's my moment of clarity. Like it was I see similarities, but off by the whim. Find out there's a parody, it's a fight from within. Good versus evil, deep versus sin. Where shall I begin? People asking me what the fuck I'm talking about. There's a birth of a new one, death to the only. So go ahead, talk them out. Doors open, I'ma walk it out. Word the aunt, word the mother, I'm about to do You acting different, I'm about to stunt. Cause what you thinking ain't what I want. I don't need me the luxury just to get you to fuck with me and pray that luck to me. I will find someone who would use it, abuse it, they didn't live comfortably. On point like cutlery. Look at what they done to me. Let me out in the cold. Grief like the back to my soul. Don't let nobody should go. I had a. Moment of clarity, life ain't the same. I see similarities, but off by the whim. Find out it's a parody, it's a fight from within. Good versus evil, he versus sin. I repeat once again. Moment of clarity, life ain't the same. I see similarities, but off by the whim. Find out it's a parody, it's a fight from within. Good versus evil, he versus sin. People trying to win this dice game being slick Then I get to being cool like ain't no way up in this bitch Then they really swear they shoot Only got juice, ain't no shit Tight rope got loose, now that's your loose and that's your end See, everybody got pride, now don't pretend Guess it really just depends on how deep is your ends Or how good's your foundation But if you escalate to an escalate Are you really escaping? I stay standing on my toes till I'm gone, I'm complete And these hoes just kill my vibe I just get them, rest in peace See now all this is a sign Got a line, at least for me I ain't signed up to fail Otherwise my head got stays with me Uh, negotiating my life I came in contact with the streets Memorize these men find out motherfuckers wanna leech They two steps ahead But they some pawns and I'm a kick A big fish in this pawn so I have to ponder everything I had a Moment of clarity, like in the Sims. I see similarities, but off by the whim. Find out it's a parody, it's a fight from within. Good versus evil, D versus sin. And the story ends. Thank y'all so much for y'all time. I really appreciate y'all, man. Like I said, I got that project coming out called Conflicted. You can check it out on my website. The website is wakeupsun.net. Once again, that's wakeupsun.net. Thank y'all. Yeah, make some noise over. That was part of everything. Cool, cool. So have a seat, man. We're gonna we gonna interact with the audience. We're gonna see what y'all think too, man. How y'all doing? By, by the way, how y'all doing? Can I get some love? How y'all doing? My man AM just came up in this motherfucker. I see y'all doing it. 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 Yeah, I think they get it. I think they get it. They got it. They got it. Yeah, you want to play that clip, man? Play that clip for us. Yeah, I think they get it. I think they get it. Yeah, I think they get it. I think they get it. Yeah, I think they get it. I think they get it.
Oh yeah, the Kanye joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He snapped off. First of all, I want to address Nick Cannon. Like, I understand that uh, you used to date my wife, but you know, you get in an interview, don't mention my wife. If someone brings my wife up, you say, hey, I respect that man, I'm not speaking on that. Don't be making no suggestions like nobody fuck my wife. Now the next thing is with Drake. The fact that it's people making rumors or thinking that you fuck my wife and you're not saying nothing and you carrying it like that, that don't sit well with my spirit. You know, if I had a girlfriend from Chicago, her name was Renita, and then you was married to Rihanna, I wouldn't make a song called Riri. Oh, that's kind of... Okay, 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 okay. How y'all feel about that, man? How y'all feel about that? That's solid. Hey, fuck Kanye. Fuck Kanye. Okay, all right. We got some hostility in there. Very deep. We cursing already. That's like a very deep, very serious. First deep. anyway. All right, cool, cool, cool. So, you know what I'm saying? Let's take it to... Let's take it to... Uh, I want to get your thoughts first before we go, go to the audience. So, all right, so thoughts? first off, first off, you know, being in a relationship myself, I, I gotta, I gotta go with my man Kanye. First off, not even just because this nigga made, you know, what I'm saying college dropout. Not even, we not even gonna go back to that. So you going with Kanye? You I gotta Kanye go side. with Kanye. Are y'all on Kanye's side? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Keep going. Keep it, keep it swinging. Okay, so the, the, the and, and I'm assuming that you, I'm assuming that you gotta be against it. What are you feeling? I'm absolutely against Kanye on this point because if if you if you watch the clip, he's saying. Hey, keep my, my my lady's name out your mouth. Keep my lady's name out your mouth. His lady name is Kim Kardashian. She gets her money by people talking about her. She's a public figure, but like just cause you, just cause she's the apple of your eye doesn't mean she can't she can't be talked about by everybody else. She's a public figure, man. Don't tell right. other man what they can't do, man. All right, but listen, but listen, it's 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 a it's a certain it's certain boundaries that you that you cross. You know what I'm saying? As a man, that. You don't that you shouldn't when you when you bringing up somebody's somebody's you know what I'm saying significant other. I feel like regardless of status, that's what he was saying. He was like, all right, you know, Kim Kardashian, no Kim Kardashian. You know what I'm saying? Fame, money, no, none of that. This nigga went at the president like Slim. Say something about my wife. You feel me? And I can, I kind of feel that because who else? If you if no if 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 he not gonna say nothing about it, who gonna say something about it? You are absolutely right, man. About Biggie's wife. That's you say what? Tupac talk shit about We do live in a fuck your bitch and, culture. And and y'all see what happened with Every other song is fuck your bitch. So we some crazy shit happened with them. It is what it is, but I wanna hear what the crowd got to say, man. Let me bring the let me bring the mic. Oh yeah, let me we got anybody who feeling that? We got anybody who wanna who wanna lay that? I want you to get, get somebody in the crowd. Who who wanna speak on that? Okay, my man Dallas man. Huh, she gonna get If Kanye didn't want nobody talking about Stand on up, brother. If Kanye didn't want nobody talking about them fucking his wife, he shouldn't have married a wife that everybody fucked. <laughs> Plain and simple. It, it's no secret. Like we, we knew it already. So whether Nick Cannon or whoever say something about it, look, we just like, yeah, we know. Like with the Tupac and me thing with the faith, that was like, oh really? But we talking about Kim Kardashian. We know everybody ran through that, bro. Like, you knew who you was married. We knew who you was married. I, I feel you, brother. I feel you. That's not a bad. That's not a bad point. A lot of people feel that way. No, I understand where you're coming from. We don't know if it really happened or not. We don't. But at the same time, though, just like I feel like they know each other. You know? Yeah. And it's bro code. You, you, that's what I'm saying. So pass, you gotta, pass you gotta, the pain. You gotta respect. The fact that, you know, that, that's your homeboy. Pass the fame, yeah. I'ma see you. I'ma see you, lady. You can't say that. All right, homeboys, though. You can't be like, homeboys, though. Kanye Tyler said everybody keep the name out the mouth. She's a public figure. She's a celebrity. She gets her money by everybody. She gets, she poses naked for everybody else. There's nobody, nobody supposed to say nothing about that. Where the ladies at? Can, can, the, can, can we eat the ladies and say something? Where the ladies at? Raise your hand if, if you're a lady and you want to say something. Come on, come on, come on, girl. Wow. <laughs> That's all I have to say. So basically, I didn't want to speak, but... You gotta speak your mind. Put it out there. Definitely, I feel like a lady should conduct herself as such, especially since yeah. the fact that she has children. Yeah. And 
It's, it's just the way I was raised. You know, I don't have any kids right now, but definitely if I would have had children, I would have definitely, you know, made it a point to not go that way. If she did, because it is alleged. Would you name your it children Northwest? <laughs> he's wild. Man. He's wild right now. Somebody get this man a mic. He's I wild. I would name her Florida. <laughs> okay. okay. Dynamite. <laughs> Okay, okay, so the crowd definitely feels like Kim Kardashian is in is, 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 is a place. Well, before we talk to it, um, we go to the next topic, make sure um, the next artist, make sure y'all make your way to the DJ booth, so we can make sure we call y'all up, make sure next artist go make your way to the DJ booth. All right, cool, so uh, next topic, Cat Williams says the only reason Tim, <laughs> Tiffany Haddish is getting looks is because she slept, cause, because she likes white men. Did y'all see that clip? But well, we about to play it right now, please. Let's listen to this clip. All right, cool. So, yo, make some noise if, you, if, you, if you're white in the building. Make some noise. If you're white, okay, y'all represent. I appreciate y'all doing the show. Shout out to y'all. However, Shout out to the however, I agree with Cat Williams' point to the to, to, to what's recently been happening. Wow. Harvey Weinstein, all of that things where they had to sleep. Sleep, you know what I'm saying? Sleep with these producers, they ain't able to get ahead. I'm sorry, but Tiffany Haddish came out of nowhere. She was in one movie, and then she turned around and she was the biggest thing in comedy. Where Cat Williams, I've seen him in many movies, I've seen him in many specials. Chris Rock, all of these cats, all of a sudden Tiffany Haddish came out of nowhere. He might have just a little bit of a point, but what you think? I think you're wildin'. Yeah. I think you're wildin'. I think the crowd agrees that you're wildin' because we all see Tiffany Haddish. She she was she been in this mother. I think I've seen her at some comic view or some shit like that. That's that's crazy because at the end of the day, when you in certain circles, regardless, regardless of if you popping or not, you gonna have a, you gonna have a chance if you have a shot if you consistent. She was she was consistent, and this nigga is wildin' to try to take that away from anybody. I mean, I don't know how y'all feel about it, but if you work, no matter how you got, no matter how you got to where you got to. You gotta be owed some type of, you know what I'm saying, respect for the, the work that you put in, especially if you got a resume. You can look back and say you did anything. My man got something to say. I don't know, I don't know if you guys seen it, but um, it was on TMZ where he actually, not apologized, but like, he was like, he should have never talked to someone about comedy that's not even in comedy. You know what I mean? So I feel like he was, like, I feel like the, 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 the lady was like, attacking him, you know, in a sense of, and I thought he just got fed up at a certain point in the interview, because he was clowning her, you know? So I thought like he was getting pushed to that point where he was like, you know what, da 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 about her, da 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 about her, you feel me? So it's like, I felt like he was pushed, like he was getting pushed to that point where he had to. About about Tiffany? Yeah, same thing about her, you know? So, but. At the same time, he was right. When he, after after all that happened, he was like, "Yo, I shouldn't even been talking about uh, a, a comedian about someone." You know, like the the lady wasn't a comedian. She doesn't do anything. She just talks show. She's I mean for a radio station. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he felt like it was out of line for him to talk about a comedian because she's not even a comedian. Right. This is how I feel about it. That didn't have to be said in the public that way, and that's why I agree with Kevin Hart. Everything he said was correct. And she's been working her ass off. You agree with Kevin Hart, and that's perfect for our next segue. Derek, why don't you cue up the Kevin Hart's response? Yeah, yeah. Make some noise to Derek in the back, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got the slippery hand. We got the butter, the butter knuckles over here. This is another mic for you over there, young man. Yeah, go ahead and grab that up. Yeah. So how y'all doing? How y'all doing? Pretty good, pretty good. Y'all going with the photo culture? Who y'all got with y'all? Oh, we got uh, my co-CEO right here, uh, operations manager. Okay, okay, y'all got some love out there in the crowd. Yeah. So for those people that don't know y'all, y'all go ahead and introduce yourselves so they know who is who and who do what. You know what I'm saying? So I go by the name of Swayze, PHM representative. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Say something. Rapper, do everything. That's a little bit of everything. So you're the artist. Okay. Yes, sir, yes, sir. I go by the name of uh, Jay Sinatra, for those who don't know me. Hey, hey, hey. Jay Sinatra. CEO. Yes. CEO, founder of Broken Hearts Music Group. I'm also an artist as well, too. Beautiful, beautiful. And then we got 
I'm T, co-founder of Broken Heart. Okay, 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 y'all do that with T. So where y'all from? Are y'all y'all all from here or? No, I'm from Fort Lauderdale. You from Fort Lauderdale? Yeah. Syracuse, New York. You from Syracuse, so. Okay, and what about you, T? New York. West Side of Orlando. Okay, West Side of Orlando. Oh, shit. Okay. So you must have brought the whole West Side with you. <laughs> okay. Okay, we know what, what okay, we know what not to say or when. Okay, so look. Y'all, all, all three of y'all came from three totally different places. How did this, this story of y'all making up go down? Well, I know y'all was at the McDonald's or something. Nah, that's a crazy story. I actually uh, know Swayze uh, from back in the day when we was working together um, at this spot. And uh, he reached out to me on IG. He was just like, yo, like, I see what y'all are doing. You got a record label and everything like that. Like, how, how can I get down with that? I just told him, like, yo, we already family outside of the music, so it just makes sense, you know, to bring them on. And he's a right, cool right. as well, too, so me and T made the uh, executive decision and we brought him on. Okay, for sure, for sure, for sure. Oh, you gotta put on your fans, you know what I mean? That's that's the noble thing to do. You guys take notes, put your mans on. All right. Put your mans um, on. But, um, you know, aside from that, you know, as a label, you know what I mean, and as artists, you know, what types of things have y'all been on lately? Well, I mean, everybody has their own unique style. Um, we, everybody's been putting out great projects. Um, we have Ron Dale in Texas. He's in Dallas, Texas. We have Tizo in Denton, Texas. Um, everybody's been putting out projects. I'm putting out a project later on this year, um, around the end of the year, in December. Um, so, I mean, we've just been putting on shows and different, and different projects and stuff like that. It's been pretty great so far. We've been getting a good buzz. Yeah, we've been pretty consistent with the work as far as like, you know, albums and projects and singles and stuff like that. Like right now, Swayze has uh, Rose and Dawn, which is a single that's uh, in circulation right now. Uh, I got my album, Black, which is on all streaming platforms, Apple Music, Tidal, Spotify. Okay, okay, you know, shameless plug. Y'all got y'all phones out for this? <laughs> so yeah, if y'all can, check that out, please. Um, we also got, like you mentioned, LeBron Dale, our brother out in Texas. Uh, he has his album out, Dale Volume 1, Pacify He Grows, Real Deep, Real Conscious. And we also have uh, Tizo, Young Spitter. He got his uh, album out, Trial and Error. Okay, okay, so y'all got a lot of big things, y'all got a lot of cool things, like things running smooth. Y'all got any things that's just been messing up? They got any problems y'all got to overcome, man? Any things y'all been running into? Well, I'm Let us know. I'm definitely going to say it's, it's a little... It's a little bit of work managing and, and trying to keep, you know, these guys in check as far as like the different personalities and uh -oh. the different type of artists and Who stuff like smacked? that. Who got smacked? Who somebody smack somebody? Uh, ain't nobody smack nobody yet. Somebody but, Twitter uh, smack it, somebody. I, I would say, I'm going to put my money on, if it came to it, LeBron's going to slap somebody. Somebody hashtag tripping to it. Dale's quick to pop Dale. He, he's he's going to be that guy. Who? Dale. Dale? Dale? Yeah. Ooh. We, we talking 6'3". With a short simple. Ball ball. Yeah. So he's okay. definitely, yeah. Okay, I see what's going on here. Okay, so we want to do something really special with y'all. We want to do something kind of fun. Uh, we're going to bring up Malaysia real quick and we're going to play this game where we're going to take one of you guys in the back, right? And we're going to see just how well you guys know each other, all right? Now we like to we like to we like to really shake it up, okay? So uh, so who, who, who's, who's going to, okay, so go ahead, Jake Bong. She's going to take you to the back. We're going to ask. Swayze a couple of questions about Jay Sinatra and see what he he comes up with and then we'll come back out and we'll see what those what those answers were, vice versa. Alright? All right. We're also gonna grab two members off the audience that so, are gonna play the same thing. Exactly. We're gonna do the so same I'm thing with two down, people out the audience. I'm about to pick somebody. I'm walking down, I'm walking down, I'm walking down. Okay. <laughs> so Y'all might not want to play, but y'all gonna play today. Y'all too, come on. All right, so I'm gonna take you to the back. And AM, I'm gonna have you go to the stage. And y'all gonna play this game with us real quick. Okay, y'all go ahead and give it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, you gonna come with me, Jason Nasta. All right, you gonna go on stage, AM. And we gonna go to the back and we gonna answer these questions. And then we gonna come back out and we gonna see how well y'all know each other, all right? I'm gonna have a have a seat on stage, big bro. So this is gonna be this is gonna be actually pretty cool. We got some pretty dope questions. So this first question, 
What are three things that Jason Oshie is going to need in the studio? A black and mild. Black and mild. So one of the big R's. Keep it down. Probably a glass of Hennessy. A what? Glass of Hennessy. A glass of Hennessy. Yeah, on the rocks. On the rocks. On the rocks. Just straight. straight. No, 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 no coat. No, 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 no chase. Straight in. Scrape uh, anything can happen. We got it. We got a black and mild. We got it. You know the third one? Beats. I don't know. I don't know how they how they thought we was gonna remix this for the for the for the other for the couple. But uh, which what are the three things that you think that she needs? She she make music. Okay, in the studio. Then. Let's go. Like, 
And plus, he does a lot of writing of his lyrics on the actual phone. Uh, on the phone? Yeah. He lives on his phone. That boy is on the IG all the, all time. the time. All the time. All the time. All the time. All the time. So, yeah, I would say those are three things. Success, success. Okay, so. Would you say that's pretty accurate? Play the. Okay. It's pretty accurate. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> These guys right. know each other. This is not a fluke, all right? <laughs> now, what about, what about AM and Alex? Yeah. Okay. Oh, what was the first question? It was, what are three things that he needs in the studio? Okay. Definitely his phone. One. Headphones. Two. Headphones. Three. This fool need a pen, no paper. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna hand the mic to Amy and we're gonna let you go ahead and answer this question so we know what she got right. Alright, I'm gonna let y'all know. She ain't getting it right. The first thing I need is a blunt, the second thing I need is a Dutch, and the oh. third thing I need is the beach. He said some candy. Candy? That sounds like pretty wrong or are you salty? Is it wrong or are you salty? You wrong? Do you need candy? She don't no. she said you're wrong. That means that oh, she don't need no candy. Oh, don't get her no candy because she don't want it. Follow her on IG. <laughs> and follow her on IG. What's your IG name? Uh oh, blunt juice. Follow blunt juice. If you see her with the candy, you know she was lying. There you go. <laughs> He said you needed candies, you needed good vibes, he said. And if you say you don't need good you probably don't need no good vibes, because you was mad with it when he said you was going to need candy. He said you get mad about candy. No, um, no. What you need? No, no, I need my phone, definitely. I need pen and paper. Oh, is that your thing? Yeah. Pen and paper. Boom. <laughs> And then paper. All right. So you guys need the basic things you need to get in the studio. All righty then. All right. Thank you. All right. All right. So you guys were also asked, what's your biggest pet peeve? Mm -hmm. Um, for Jace, uh, Jay Sinatra. Actually, for both of y'all, y'all got the same thing. They said time. They said time, being on time, being punctual. That is a big pet peeve for both of you guys. What do you guys say? That's pretty accurate. Yeah. That's pretty accurate. It's, it's pretty accurate, you know. I mean, we all are genetically predisposed to be on CP time, but it's it's all good though. You know? <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, time is definitely um. Something. Yeah. Charge it to the gene pool at my heart. <laughs> exactly. Um. Now this is this is this is a, a good one. I don't even think we even got to this. Do you like to talk or text? Talking. What about you? He said, really? That's the song. I don't think y'all ready for this, all right? So me and my partner, OC, all right? OC, the OG, we gonna come down to y'all. We gonna let the phone rock. Y'all gonna be talking to each other. 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 Y'all gonna be talking to each
Don't look betray me. Met all these niggas, they sweeter than steady. When I started out, I just took what they gave me. Did all the favors, they never repay me. It worked in my favor, cause nobody's. Get it, 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 get
You know what I mean? So is anybody feeling that real quick before we before we head out? Anybody got bars or y'all all shy? I know Queen Royale got some bars. Okay, come on, come on, come on, bring them on up. Go ahead and get them, Malaysia. Go ahead and get them, Malaysia. Sometimes they get a little push.
no money yet, I get it. What I want, baby, I spend it. Black beauty. Let them know that you got it. Shine your light, we're bright. Let them all know that you will got it. Energy louder than all lovers. Why your stuff that's so flawless? And it's time to be conscious. Let the world to be conscious. Yeah.
They no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do that too. <laughs> All right. No, I'm gonna ask the second question. Huh? <laughs> okay. So, which hip hop star holds the record for most number one albums in the U.S. next to the Beatles? A. Jay Z. B. Eminem. C. Kanye West. She said not a butterfly. <laughs> Yeah, Jay Z, Eminem, Kanye West. Anybody? Anybody? Jay Z. Jay Z. What's up, Jay Z? Jay Z. I hear you. What do you think? Jay Z. I don't think Jay Z. I don't keep up with this shit. To me, I don't think Jay Z. 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 The next question. No, no, go ahead. Madam Butterfly, we shut the shit down. Which hip hop legend? Legend is the key. First off, who wrote these cards? Who? You know what? Look, don't sleep. Really? Really? Well, look, that was the question. Post -human sleep? Don't do that. I'll post human sleep. I know what post human sleep is. I don't know what that means. What? I just, I just seen it. After, <laughs> after death is what posthumously means for yeah. Oh damn. It means after death. So which which hip hop legend, after they already died, collaborated with Elton John for the UK number one number one hot ghetto gospel. Number one hit ghetto gospel. All right. Anybody hear ghetto gospel? Did anybody in here hear ghetto gospel? I heard that. She got nothing. She heard it. So obviously, Madam Butterfly, you have a chance of finding out who the post more was. It not A, E Z E. Yes. B. Biggest Smalls, baby. Baby, baby, baby. C. Tupac. 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 We got A. Easy B. No, oh shit, it's either A or B. Big and small. C. Ask God. Go with Tupac. Ask God. Yeah, I'm a little bit. I'm writing poetry and shit. Because I'm a little bit. Are you sure? See, you, that's why you bring your baby into the studio, because she gets you to find the right answers. Alright, All right. so I'm, I'm going to ask this last question, alright, before we bring up these performers. This is the last wow. one, alright, you ready? Alright, you may know him as Biggie Smalls or the Notorious B.I.G. What was his first rap name? A. M.C. Jess. B. M.C. Best. C. M.C. Quest. Do y'all know? Do y'all know? My mama knew this, but I ain't gonna lie. I ain't know. Hello? Y'all know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jack, best or quest? What in the Wu Tang name created? Right. Um, this is his first rap name. Um, before Biggie. Go. I'm a guess. Yes. Yeah, take, what take in the magazine? <laughs> I'm gonna guess what? You got that right. Oh. Yeah. 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 Alright. Alright, y'all. So we're gonna get these performances up here. Yeah.
could tell she was ready to the ghetto. She deserves a cold bell. That booty poppin' thing I heard it say, hello. Oh, 
y'all give it up for Queen Royal. Yeah. Did y'all have a good time tonight? Everybody had a good time? Yeah. Y'all, thank y'all so much for coming out and, and enjoying this thing. I go by the name of Jack Wan. I don't even know if I ever said my name in this joint, but my name is Jack. You know, I'm just host, singer, songwriter, you know what I'm saying? guy, having fun. It's I Malaysia. am Malaysia Ray. Y'all can follow me on Instagram at Malaysia, like the country, dot Ray, like Lisa Ray, but it's R E I. I want to thank y'all for coming out. Y'all look beautiful tonight. Thank y'all for hanging with us. Y'all remember who we do it for? <laughs> All right. Y'all give y'all some a round of applause. Thank y'all so much for, for, for doing it for us. Can y'all take us out with DJ, give us something to jam to so I can do it? We can't do Hey, hey, yeah. Uh. Life is amazing, it is what you see. Damn, I feel like a rookie. I tell her the cookies, it's going into this. Book for three years, man, you can't even book me. It's me and little baby, this shit going crazy. Weezy produced it, and Weezy had made me, and she had it down, so she got on my side. Don't mess with me, it's the army, the navy. It ran me 10,000, I threw it like Brady. Four on together, like Chuck and Katie. I trusted my niggas, they never betray me. Met all these niggas, they sweeter than Sadie. When I started out, I just took what they gave me. Did all the favors, they never repaid me. It worked in my favor, cause nobody said it. Like it's indeed me. I got one. 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 I got one